Okay, let's talk about what's wrong with this page. Well, actually not wrong. It functionally works exactly as it's designed, but it's not sufficient. Uh, if you think about what this would look like if you had a real website with many, many users, each um, looking for many uh, from many different rides for all kinds of different churches and services, this list would be incredibly long. It would be incredibly difficult to be able to find what you're looking for in that kind of a, a needle in that a haystack because of so much detail and so you need a way to to be able to look at this information in in more important ways and so that may include searching for content that may include ordering content in a specific way so that you can look for a specific location at time uh, place uh, church whatever and uh, it would probably include some sort of pagination so you don't get overwhelmed with the total amount of, of data in the system. You might want to include things like not displaying rides that are in the past and, and so forth. So our, our URL right here which lists the rides is, is the right URL but we need some way to be able to filter those rides and only display some of those rides or be able to display them in a specific order for for those rides and so we're gonna explore now how how to get the database to provide that functionality um, with the ordering and then in the future we might talk about searching and and uh, so forth but we're gonna focus on ordering the the data by a a particular attribute first because we we need the the database to be involved so what we're going to need to do is provide some tests of course that fail first and then we can develop solutions to that so let's go to our editor here and we're going to edit our um, we're going to edit our features and this is going to be a new feature it's ride pages spec <coughs> excuse me dot rb and what we're going to do here is we're going to follow the the same kind of process as we did for our, our other feature uh, spec so we're going to require our spec helper and we're going to describe all these as these are tests that have to do with our ride pages and we're going to give an implicit subject of our capybara page and right now all we are doing are dealing with showing rides and you may remember when we did users we might show an individual ride or all of the rides and so these particular tests are for all the rides. Uh, let's do that. And so uh, we've already got code that's running, but let's write our first um, set of tests that, that should already be passing because of that, because I wanted to show you it working. And that is that we're just going to create 25 rides, and we want to see that they show up somewhere in the the page and so after we create those and visit our rides path we want to make sure that it, the, the ride has uh, things like a, a header that says that this is the list of rides and maybe that's a bad header but just need something in there for for now um, we want to know how many rides there are and in this case we want to uh, see 25 of them and then we want to see each of those individual rides so it should show all rides and we're going to do that with a loop so we're going to query our database and go ahead and say that for each of the rides we're going to expect that there is an element with our rides 
uh, oops, rides username, and we're going to expect in some element that there um, we're going to include the church's name and uh, we are going to expect to have selector the date of that ride uh, and maybe there should be other stuff so let's go through this a little bit the ride we got from the database when we use the user method on that ride it gets the user object associated with that ride and then we can get its name attribute notice that here we have to go through um, the we can't do ride.church.name because if we look at our database there the rides and the churches are not connected with each other the only way we know what ride and what church is connected with the ride is we have to go through this relationship to get the service that we're connected to and then go through this relationship to get the church so, um, and because it's a many to one and a many to one both in these direction there's there can be only one service for that ride and only one church for that service and so we know that that is the specific name there are um, connections here we could go ride get the user that provides that ride but we might not have a connection from that user to the church right this is an optional connection here so the only way that we can do it is via these two relationships here and so that's why we have to have this long sequence of ride dot service dot church dot name before we actually access an a element that's stored in in our ride right there so if we save that and we run this quick test and again I'm only going to run the tests from that particular file to save time we expect this to pass because uh, we're already displaying all of our users and it runs and runs and runs but eventually it's all done and we get our success like we want